Yeah, enemies. That's will crazy. Be spotted up outside, even knowing what local enforcement was on the scene. As soon as they left for a moment, they sprayed it up. The police said as many as six people was fighting. At one point in time, guns was drawn and shots was fired. Mm. Three firearms were recovered during the investigation. Now, that was only three days before the funeral was shot up as well. But the probation officer didn't say nothing. And he had an extensive rap sheet. Two years ago, he almost shot a clerk but his gun jam. Five at Target 11. Exchange. Another shoot just days before. There was over 50 shots on the north side of Pittsburgh. He was one of six people arrested. He had two open cases and the only teenager that was in that case. Man, that These exotic boys, exotic. smoke exotic out. You ain't heard about murder boys, we got exotic glass. Tied to pull up real fast Ugh, with a lot of shots. Bitch, I'm feeling just like Mac, I got a lot of guap. What up, Moolah gang? It's your boy Mac Moolah, aka Mr. Moolah Mac. I'm back with another video. Y'all know how we rock it, man. Get out of socket, man. Keep the cushion in my pocket, man. Listen, check it out on Photo Grave. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up and that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Y'all know how we rock it, man. Get that description right now. Subscribe to the rest of my channels, folks. The rest of my channels, because I do a lot more than just react on Photo Grave, nigga. Go down there and explore. After you get done with this video, you're going to be like, ain't nothing to watch. So go in the description, bro. Go to my vlog channel. I promise you're going to like that. Oh, for the great. You like cars? Go to my car channel. I promise you're gonna like that. Smell. You like games? Go to my 2K channel or my GTA channel. You're gonna like that. For the great. Make sure y'all tap into my mentorship too, man. Cause I'm showing y'all how to get rich for sure. Like, real deal. This ain't not no game. Ain't no joke. Like, dead serious on Bro Great. Now, y'all might recognize these two faces right here. These two faces, these same two niggas. We just reacted to one of their videos. I don't know if I'm gonna have posted it yet. But basically, these niggas pulled up to a church and just straight smoked like three niggas during a funeral. I ain't talking about from across the street. No, I'm talking about they ran up to the front of the church while they had, they was putting the body in the hearse and smoked like three, four people. The, the, they had the body in the in the casket, rolling down the street, all type of I can't make it up. But now they saying that they connected to a whole bunch of most. So these niggas is just crazy. Let's see what else they talking about. Shout out to the family TV for providing us with this, uh, Nice content on I'm finna grab My thunky flame I'ma you know let you hit it Yeah Yeah Oh this was the funeral Y'all now go ahead tap it Enjoy John's football expertise He remained in right, more so short style John's love for basketball began At the Pittsburgh Project Urban Impact Allegheny Elementary School Allegheny Middle School and all the oh. nice high school. You hear that? Sh Hold on, y'all, before we get back into the video, because we finna get right back into it. I gotta tell y'all about the Moolah membership. The Moolah membership is a website that I started a few years ago. Since I started this website, I have been able to put on so many of y'all, and I want you to be the next person to get put on. I'm gonna give you instructional videos, step by step instructions. I'm literally giving you lessons out weekly, daily. For you to understand these different categories, we're talking about business, financial literacy, credit, crypto, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about Amazon, we're talking about dropshipping, we're talking about YouTube. I'm literally giving you the gems to be a boss, the gems to be a successful entrepreneur in 2023. So this is all you have to do. Click the link in the description, sign up right now for the low, low price of $50 a month, bro. $50 a month, you're gonna get access to a one-on-one -on -one help with me. You're gonna get access to my group chats where my experts worldwide work around the clock, 24 seven, to make sure you have the best stock and crypto call outs. That means all you gotta do is buy the same stocks and cryptos that I'm buying and make somebody all this bread. Very simple, very easy on Broke Gay. Stop waiting, stop procrastinating, click the first link in the description right now, especially if you want to be a boss. And if you dead serious, man, if you want to put that work in and get that money on, I'm talking about that easy money on, click that link in the description, shorty, right now, because we only got 2,000 spots, and I would hate to see you be missed out. Skate. And I don't know what the f took everybody so long. I like, listen to that first little, what you in call middle it? Middle school in Alderdice. So when you hear that, bah, 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 bah. you only need like three, four shots, them motherfuckers keep coming. Oh yeah, they blicking. Ah! <laughs> I'm running so motherfuckers fast, I don't give a what nobody see. I am running upstairs, downstairs, the basement, in the bathroom. I'm going somewhere. Phone them grave. They took like five minutes to react. Alleg What's wrong Elementary with these school, niggas? Allegheny Middle School and Alderdice High School. It took like 13, 13 shots for these niggas to start running and Y'all 
tweaking on. Either y'all for the run or go out there with a blick. Y'all see this, bro? They got the horses on the thing, bro. Five other people are responsible for a deadly shooting in the city of Pittsburgh. These oh. five people are in the August shooting in the city's California Kirkbride neighborhood. A whole One other man shooting. was killed and three other people were hurt. Police say 58 shell casings were oh. fired from eight firearms. You say the video is presented in court today he showed the gunman it. responsible, the but the defense argued that while the video may depict a shooting, it's not possible to see who was there nor whom fired. Evidence during a preliminary what hearing today, 21 year old J. Lone Hines. He is accused in the shooting on Pittsburgh. What North is going side, on, three bro? People were killed. I ain't gonna lie. I knew body. Pittsburgh was bussing, but God. I stand these all. See, a number of shots were fired onto Cedar What Avenue. is going on? None. You need to stop with this violence. You need to love each other. You need to communicate with each other. You need to reason with one another. This isn't the way. There's, this isn't the way. This is out of hand, and it's constantly going on. I don't know who did it. I do not know. I, was I do not know, but I see like this is crazy. No clue. But what I do know is that this was senseless, and it makes no sense. It's too much. It's too much for to our you. community. To you, it makes no sense. That's the problem, though. To me, it makes no sense either. It, it's no reason for this stupid. Like, what are you What are you doing? That's how I feel. Everybody don't feel like you, though. Some people, is crazy. So that's why, again, I'm going to say, like I said in my last reaction, I just did, folks. Get your money. Take care of your family. Protect your family. Get your pistol. Mind your business. Do what you going to do. Stay the f*** out of the way. You do all them things, you're going to be all right. Somebody play with you, knock their head off. Somebody play with your kids, they you feel me? They threaten their life, knock their... You know what I'm saying? If you anything you have to do to protect yourself. You see somebody ro coming to rob your crib, you got your wife, your kids in that, knock their head off. Air time. But all this kumbaya, everybody finna get together and be on the same... That ain't realistic, bro. It's not going to happen. Some people, it's slow. We're in this outside community. A lot of people slow. Here in Brighton Heights. Phone them great. It's too much. It's too much for everybody. Y'all want to tie the phone again? All this trauma constantly. <laughs> this is complex trauma. Do you want to tap the door again? Day and night. Do you it's going on two toy? years. And we just starting to get some answers. Oh, in regards oh, to some bad right? daily shootings that happen in Pittsburgh. For people who don't live in Pittsburgh, you might think of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pitt University, or even the skyline when you think of Pittsburgh. Well, I think but today, we're going into the inner city on the north side and talk about a group I of young the men who authorities claim made a game via social media. Quoting, we don't have what you consider traditional games like you had in the 1990s and early 2000s. During his press conference at the police headquarters, he continued to quote, we have groups of people. They are affiliated through what? interests through social media that sort of come together. They have no geographical boundaries at this point in time. Right. Now I did my research and on the north side of Pittsburgh, it's known for Crips. But uh, today, we're going to go into that. details I, about I a couple shooters that. that went viral. A man funeral getting shot up, two innocent bystanders losing their life at who a bus funeral stop. was that? A young man who cut his ankle monitor off Look at this and then had mark. nerve to have a video jail call. Video jail call. You stupid mother. Friend. Not to mention, the guy Look who's allegedly for shooting up a funeral see what I'm saying? and cut his Some ankle monitor just off dumb. was on camera about to shoot a clerk inside a store. But thank God, the gun, the gun had jammed. So without wasting what? too much time, remember family, I don't give you no way. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, what and subscribe. What is going on? We'll this is dumb. Fam, meet John James Harnassus Jr. He mm. was one of three people who lost their life on At the October funeral. 15, 2022. May they rest in peace and love and condolences what to the their The other two were innocent bystanders. Two females waiting at a local bus stop. Two Jacqueline females. Jacqueline Mihaly and crazy. Betty Everett. This incident happened on Cedar Street, Pittsburgh, Northside. Footage of later come out to show John and his friend would be shooting back. But it seems John had lost his life in the process. Two friends would get arrested and later they Blake back, J Lone Hines and Churn Trout. Blake back, As we got a new look at new surveillance video just released from another shooting. This video was introduced as Shit, evidence dude, during a preliminary hearing can, today dude. for 21 year old J Lone Hines. Blake he is accused hope, hope in the, the shooting here. on Pittsburgh's north side where three people were.
killed, including two innocent bystanders. You can see a number of shots were fired onto Cedar Avenue. Hines and a 19 year old man are facing homicide charges. Hines is also charged with conspiring with John Hornes Jr., hey, who was the third person caught? killed. Y'all must be some stupid motherfuckers. Y'all getting caught. Like, what is the problem? Like, y'all be, y'all be slow. That's all right. In that shooting. Right. A couple days later, go John will have his funeral, and his enemies will be spotted up outside, even knowing local enforcement was on the scene. As soon as they left for a moment, they sprayed it up. Never. Check the footage inside they the church the police that was leave. live streamed. To enlist John's football expertise, he is this the nigga? Hold on. Is this the same nigga that died blicking back? Ten year old man are facing homicide charges. I think this the same dude. Okay, so this the funeral of the nigga who was blicking back John and got Hornets caught. Jr., who was the third person killed in that shooting. A couple days later, John will have his funeral. Yeah, his enemies that's will crazy. be spotted up outside, even knowing what local enforcement was on the scene. As soon as they left for a moment, they sprayed it up. Check the footage that's inside crazy. the church that was live streamed. To enlist John's football expertise, he remained a North Shore stallion. John's love for basketball began at the Pittsburgh Project, Urban Impact, Allegheny Elementary School, Why the police Allegheny leave, Middle though? School, and Alderdice High School. That's crazy, bro. And we're going to stop it there. But this is the suspects yeah, outside the get church. Get low. Get low. That's all I can say. Ron, she got the big. I don't, like, again, I don't know what the f took so long for y'all, man, sh That's the thing about the funerals, though, boy. It's like, it's wicked, but at the same time, if you want some wicked sh it's the perfect time to do some wicked sh If If you trying to catch some ops, if you, if you came outside to end lives today, and you know that everybody, all his homies, all his friends, all his family gonna be at this funeral. Of course you're gonna come out there and do it. It's wicked, it's evil, don't get me wrong, but it's the perfect opportunity for a wicked, evil motherfucker to do some wicked, evil shit. So you gotta take the precautionary action. So I'm great. You gots to go to the suburbs. You gots to be super low-key about the address, the time, the place. You gots to, it's sad to say, bro, but when you go into a street nigga's funeral, you need security outside and inside of the church. I'm not talking about no big nigga that go to the church with a suit. I'm talking about the police. I'm talking about security guards licensed with sticks. Sorry. It's f***ed up. But that y'all, because it's too much of these. This nigga died and doing some street shit or he died on some, 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 some type of, any type of gang, gang, gang banging gangster shit. And y'all have a funeral in the middle of the city and it's plastered all over social media. Like, y'all, it's we got to stop doing that, though, gang. It's fucked up, but it's the truth. That Ford truck with them. They saw the police and they went back to the alley. Mm, they saw the police and went back when to the alley. Ford truck let them know that the police and the Ford truck was with them. Okay, because I was wondering when the Ford truck was walking up, I'm like, I was pulling up, I'm like, how the they make it back around this other side of the church though? Because I'm, I'm somebody would have snitched on they. That was that like an old lady. Ford truck or let them know that the police left, as they mentioned in the news clip, as they had to alert to another location for a second, which they regret. Mm. They used that one moment, fam. So let me see what time was right. it. 11.39. They waited 20 moments. They used that one moment, fam. 20 minutes. They said they gone. And came back. Came back. Pulled they blicks out. It's going to go down. 20 minutes later. That's crazy. 20 minutes. They waited 20 minutes for that motherfucker. They say real killers patient. That's the that's the that's that's what they say, bro. I'm just letting you know what they say. Walked all the way to the front of the church. And I remember seeing the person who got blicked dropped his pipe and did not make it. And this is what I be saying about shit, like, this is just unorganized as fuck. Like, God, like, y'all walked outside, put some all black on, 
waiting for the police to go away and then like who are y'all trying to catch what's the what's the target now we're gonna stop it there but six people were shot and a horse breaking news and they shot the new horse. information about today's they didn't hit the horse in that in Brighton Heights. And Channel 11's Rick Earl joins us live. And Rick, I understand you just learned that the police officers that were requested by the church were not there. Yeah, that's right, Lisa. Multiple uh, family Boy, members here outside them. the hospital were telling me this afternoon that police officers were supposed to be at that funeral, but they say no one ever showed up. Now, I did speak with a law enforcement source just a short time ago. They confirmed that that's two officers, two up. Pittsburgh police officers, were assigned to that detail. Mm -hmm. Uh, but those officers at the very last minute were pulled for another assignment. After completing that other assignment, those officers planned to return to the funeral, so they, and that's when the shots were fired and the shooting broke so out. That's somebody Again, else. That's, telling, that's, high, that's higher. That's upper management fault. That's whoever gave them orders. That's their fault. Me, it's not normal procedure for Pittsburgh police officers to attend these funerals, but they, they suspect need to be. there might be there was somebody anticipating possible trouble at that site. They need and to that's be more than those two officers may have been requested too, in man. the first place. Oh, those officers Slow. were pulled for another assignment, and then they were going back to the church, and when they were on their way back, the shooting happened. I also asked my multiple law enforcement sources about efforts to increase and beef up manpower, police manpower, this weekend in light of any possible retaliation because of that shooting. Multiple officers tell me they have not heard any too, boy, requests go out do yet for mean, increased manpower, and frankly, a that's number of them tell me, given the severe staffing shortages the Bureau is experiencing yeah, right now, I don't need to put on the streets much of a Marines, but before going to house Complete. So you heard what they had to say, family. <laughs> oh my dear, homie. I bet you motherfucking going to the house there, boy. You got six maroon. We ha face. And these motherfuckers walking in straight lines. They got 10,000 sticks outside. I bet you we go out to the house there. I bet you them niggas don't come outside there. Photo grade. That's what they need to do. Because the Marine nigga ain't scared. He been in real war. You think you scared him? This little street nigga shit. These niggas over there shooting rockets and shit, man. He come outside like, boy, I, well, I can't wait for you little one of you little niggas to try me. And I got Marine aim, nigga. Oh, my God. I bet you that, but other than that, police is scared as shit, boy. These police is regular people, barely trained. You feel me? They get shot at and have to go off. They got to go off the job for two months, go to therapy just to come back and kind of process the shit. You feel me? Like. These ain't the people that's gonna really run towards no bullets like that. A lot of them ain't. So you ain't really finna get no nigga to sign up to go somewhere where they know it's probably gonna be a shootout. Those two people was later arrested. Teenagers. And they but, both had a lot going on at the time of the shooting. Sean Davis to the left, 18. 18, and he was like Nixon, 16, right? 16. <laughs> so we cleared this Hezekiah walking in family. Stupid. Niggas, y'all just be dumb. Just 16 years old. Niggas just be dumb. Sean. And you could just see the dumb ass on it. Like they like, you could see the stupid on their face. Like all this. Let's talk be about dumb, how they got I don't think it's cool. Look Sean was thing. on probation for a shooting that happened inside a local mall. But at that time, he was only 17 years old. It happened at a mall called Rawls Park Mall in PA. Apparently, mm. a fight broke out on the second floor of the mall. Mm. It was around 4.30 p.m. It was oh, on a Saturday. The police said as many as six people was fighting. At one point in time, guns was drawn and shots was fired. Mm. Three firearms were recovered during the investigation. And the only juvenile arrested on the scene, 17-year-old Sean Davis. Mm. Now, while on probation, a year later, Sean would end up taking his ankle monitor off. And he you would go to a jail mother. phone call while talking to his friend. And show him the ankle monitor. See what I'm saying? As if though he instructed him on how to do so. This video was recorded between Sean Davis, right? And Darren being held. I said you ain't had to cut it or nothing, did you, dog? Edit? No, you ain't had to cut it. Cut your situation or not. No. Oh, I, I was about to say. You after? That bitch definitely ain't on, dog. That joint right here. Oh, that's why I'm Oh, oh, oh. Bro, you gotta do it again. Show three. And then nigga laughing at Like, y'all are stupid. You see what I'm saying? You can't talk to these dumb motherfuckers. If y'all too stupid to understand, let me not show myself doing some felony illegal on a jail call. If you too stupid to understand that, folks. What the fuck am I supposed to tell you? What what can I say, fool? You dumb as It's a box of rocks, you stupid. Like. 
<laughs> and they laughing. Ah! I would have hung up. Nigga, get your dumb ass on. You stupid mother. Like. Look at his face. Girl. Out of here. Grandma. Uh, All right. Hey, hey, what? Hey, what? Bro, that door was about to break, bro. I, I was, I'm like, dog. But I remember you told me, like, bro, you can't be bitch. Just... Yeah, you just got to apply pressure on it. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, you just got bought. He talking about some, yeah, you just got to apply a little pressure on it. You dumb ass. You just admitted to yourself doing the same you goofy. You got to be like, this is, and niggas be doing this because they want to call. They want to show off because they think this is cool. It's the dumbest, lamest, weirdest, goofiest ever. They think whoever is the dumbest is the quote unquote most, that's all most savage mean. Who, who the most dumb? Who is the stupidest nigga that's going to show everybody how stupid he is? And who going to win that dumb contest? So I'm going to get on the jail call and show you my cutoff ankle monitor while I'm on probation from a murder. While I'm actively committing more murders. I'm going to get on the jail call with my homie and show him that I got the band off. Real time on video call on live, they not using cold words or shit. Then the stupid ass nigga in jail talking about some. Yeah, I told you you just gotta. He trying to be just as cool because he wanna feel like yeah I'm the one who knew. Remember yeah not nah, just to get out and rap about it. Hey grandma, now, that was only three days before the funeral was shot up as well. But the probation officer didn't say nothing. And he had an extensive rap sheet. Two years ago, he almost shot a clerk with his gun jam. Five at Target 11 exclusive. One of the teens accused of opening fire outside of a church on Friday at a funeral. What the fuck is going on? a store clerk two years ago, but the gun jammed. And that incident, like the funeral shooting, was also caught oh, in the surveillance gun video. Tonight, Sean Davis and Hezekiah Nixon like, remain behind in connection with Friday shooting. Channel 11 News got exclusive video of the teens being walked into police headquarters for questioning just hours after the gunfire. The surveillance video Niggas from 2020 no with money the clerk at a either, downtown right? electronics store. The clerk tackles Davis to the ground, but then lets rob him up. On his way out the door, Davis turns, pulls a gun, and tries to fire. And then, you the let, and then after he tackled you and let you go, you went back to the door and up your pipe and tried to blick him down because you pretty much just got your ass beat. You, that's not even a read. Like, you get what I'm saying? It don't be about no money. These niggas just want to crash out so they can go to jail and be like, I crashed out harder than you. You should be scared of me, huh? It's kind of gay. Why you want to go in there with all so bad with all these, with, with, with these niggas? Y'all is... And according to the clerk, jams. Davis then takes off. I just off. don't understand. He's arrested and charged like with aggravated trying, assault trying to catch and a prohibited no possession reason. of a firearm. Like, One year later, stupid, while out on bond, Davis is arrested again and accused of firing shots inside Ross Park Mall. No one is hit. The case is ultimately dismissed after sources say a judge raised identification issues. Davis' bond is revoked, though, and in yeah, this revoked. year, Boy. he pleads guilty to aggravated assault in that downtown store altercation. According to an email obtained by Target to... 11, prosecutors recommended this, three to six years in a state prison based on Davis' criminal history. Sources tell Target 11 Davis has two previous gun possession charges as a juvenile. It's unclear what happened in those cases because juvenile records are sealed. But Judge Tom Flaherty releases him from the Allegheny County Jail after serving nine months of a 10 to 23 month sentence for that aggravated assault. He was placed on six months of electronic monitoring on June 28th. So on they the day let of the him funeral off like shooting, that? he should have still been wearing an ankle bracelet. Now, I asked the court administrator if Davis was wearing that ankle bracelet at the time of the shooting on Friday or if he cut it off. Oh, they oh my to God. Answer that question. I also questioned Judge Flaherty about the sentence. He said he could not discuss it. I talked with the victim in that aggravated assault case as well. He declined an interview but expressed disappointment in both the sentence and the nearly two years it took to resolve that case. Well, we know now, fam, based on the video thus far, he took that ankle monitor off. Now, on the day they got caught, Hezekiah Nixon got into the car they used <laughs> to do the shooting. But also, Hezekiah had on him a firearm that had shell casing matched.
Did you hear? Did you hear what he just said, bro? He said they got they got caught in the car that they used to do the shoot at the funeral. I'm no genius. <laughs> Another shoot just days before there was over 50 shots on the north side of Pittsburgh. He was one of six people arrested. He had two open cases and the only teenager that was in that case. Man, that nigga Prosecutors on, showed jail. new surveillance that video today boy, that they say proves a 16 year old and five other people man. are responsible right for a now. deadly shooting in the city of Pittsburgh. These five people are charged in the August shooting in the city's California Kirkbride neighborhood. One man Let me was put it like this. Three Rondo and uh, C. They got caught for a body of a cab driver or some shit or whatever they say, and they got like 40 years. So if these niggas don't get any less than, bro. Other people were hurt. Police say if these niggas get 58 less than 58 shell casings years, were fired like from eight firearms. Right now. Prosecutors say the video is presented in court this today showed the, the gunman like Drake, responsible, like but the defense argued that while the video may <laughs> depict a shooting, it's not possible to see who was there wrong? nor whom fired. During today's preliminary hearing, we heard from Casey White. He is the attorney for one of the defendants, 16-year-old Hezekiah Nixon. Nixon is charged as an adult in the August 7th shooting and is sitting in the Allegheny County Jail tonight. He is also charged in connection to the shooting that happened outside of a funeral home in Brighton Heights in October. Crash out. He's young. He's scared. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. <laughs> um, Boy, he broke. He, that nigga, mentally, he's gone. There's, at 16 years old, I don't think anybody has the willpower. It's a very, 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 very small amount of people that got the willpower to take 23 and a 1 in the county jail at 16 years old. After you got bodies on your name, you know you hit, you hit them bodies, folks. And all you got is time and a little bit of space to go f***ing crazy with some nasty ass food. And no, boy. You know, he's... That nigga and that going through A lot of it. questions are running through his head. These are allegations that are very heavy, um, that carry um, a lot of weight. And after all this time, almost two years later, the DA comes out and say retaliation was the motive behind the shootings. Nothing else. A Pittsburgh Street gang war yeah. was one body dropped. They retaliated. Yeah. Some did the same night. And yeah. police are saying these two teenagers were involved in a span of 12 months. 20 people being shot. God. On three on occasions. And four people losing their life. And that's just what they know. This right. has to be the story of two of the most that's ruthless teenagers ever coming out of Pittsburgh. Family, let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. They stupid. Once they trial start and get the rock and rolling. I'll make sure I keep you guys updated. With all that being said, talk to me in the comments. Yeah, they Don't forget ass, they ass, they ass, they ass. Only thing, only nigga that might have a shot is that 16 year old, but he got charged as an adult, so I can't even say that. Yeah, they're fucked. On um, bro, good luck, buddy. <laughs> I got all this. Shit. That's all I get you, boy. And that shit ain't gonna work. You gonna need a muff. Hell, gonna have to freeze over before you get out of jail, boy. Oh my God, what happened to Virgil? Y'all is, especially if y'all get, it depends. If they get found guilty of all charges <laughs> or all them bodies, like, oh, no. It's going to get real spooky for them niggas, boy. And they talking about folks and that bitch doing 23 or 1 at 16 with four bodies and 20 shootings on his head, nigga. No, that them demons got that boy. Now you hear me? Oh, my God. Rest in peace to everybody, though, but God.